good afternoon welcome back to the channel and today you find me not in the Lake District uh, the UK is back in lockdown again brilliant and I'm spending the time in Wiltshire and Wiltshire doesn't have very many mountains not the most mountainous county in the in the country and it doesn't have a huge number of lakes either but what it does have is this this is Savernake Forest this is just outside Marlborough in Wiltshire and it's an ancient or the remnant of an ancient forest with some Judging by what I'm seeing on Facebook from other photographers, some amazing for, uh, old trees, huge, gnarled, several hundred years old behemoths of trees, um, which have the most amazing shapes and the most amazing character about them. So I've come down today to do a little bit of a scouting effort. It's, uh, it's not the best conditions for woodland photography in the classical sense. It's not misty and it's not morning. Uh, it's sort of, well, late morning, early afternoon here. And, uh, the sun is coming through and the skies are blue and there's lots of dappling going on. So I'm looking for a couple of things here, I guess. A uh, bit of an experiment, I don't have much of a plan. I'm looking, first of all, for some of those old trees and I think I found one just over there. It's a magnificent looking thing. And uh, I'm looking for some of those old trees and I can come back when perhaps it's a dank, dark, wet, foggy, winter's morning and we're expecting a few of those over the next couple of months and I think some of those trees would make magnificent subjects for that kind of thing. Uh, I guess the other thing I'm looking for, we're very late in the autumn season here, but I'm looking for the odd little tree that has maybe a splash of colour among the grey, the green, the uh, you know what's left of, of, of the autumn. Um, you know, young beech saplings tend to hold on to their leaves a little bit longer than the older trees. Maybe there's a little, uh, the odd splash of colour in the middle of the gloom and what I'm looking at here behind me, you can probably see over my shoulder, there's just a hint of a, a, a tree there, a beech tree, young beech tree, with the sun dappling on its leaves and a little bit of dappling on the grass in front of it. Um, I've gone into portrait mode there so that I can capture some of the ground in front of the tree. And um, I've stopped down to f5.6 so that I can mostly focus on the tree and what the background behind the tree is, isn't very useful there. It's, uh, it's, mostly, it's mostly sky, so I'm trying to bring the angle down so I cut out as much of the sky as possible. Put into f5.6 to try and throw some of that background into a little bit of blur so that it brings the, uh, the colour in the leaves. What little colour there is in the leaves maybe in the sunlight will be uh, that little bit more highlighted. We'll see what we can do. Um, so I'm, I'm, I've, I've got a bit of an idea today of what I might do if I do get something like this. I'm not really optimistic that that kind of shot by itself will be fantastic. Uh, but what I'm trying, what I've kind of got in mind is to play with the processing a little bit. Uh, maybe do a little bit of, you know, autumn additions, you know, maybe make it a little bit hazy, a little bit oversaturated, a little bit mystical, a little bit magical. This is, this is just a perfect forest for that kind of for that kind of approach, I think. Um, you know, a little bit of Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, a little bit of, you know, David Bowie's Labyrinth, something like that. I don't know. I've never really done that kind of thing before. But if I do, uh, and I can make something of it uh, today, then great. And if not, then obviously this video won't see the light of day. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll find something I can do today, but at the very least we'll find something that I can come back to later in the winter. Let's go see what we can find. Thank you. 
just find something I think I'm looking for. Have a look at this guy. This guy here behind me. Look at that. That's just magnificent. The guy must be three, four hundred years old. Just amazing. He just wanted to have his own name, don't you? Something with 18 syllables that you can't pronounce unless you're really drunk. <laughs> oh, he's just fantastic. Let's see if we can do something here. So I've got a plan, I've put my wide angle lens on, I've got a 20, 10 to 24, I've opened it right up to 10 mils and I've put it right at the foot of the tree and I've angled the camera up so that it's taking as much of the tree in as possible. There's going to be some sky, that's not a problem because that, that fits in with the plan. Um, you see those golden leaves here that are just sort of fringing? On the wide angle, I found that with the subject that I've got, I've got the tree going right up the middle of the frame and there's these golden leaves sort of framing the, the, the image. And so what I've got in mind is to kind of make it a little bit artistic, maybe turn it, uh, the tree maybe a little bit monochrome-ish, but just saturate those golden leaves again, just to bring them back out again, and again, some autumn effect. Something in my, something like that, something a little bit mystical, because this is not the right, um, this is not the right light to do justice to a tree like this, as I say, on a, on a wet, dank, the foggy winter's morning, it'll, it, it may come back. So I'll definitely come back here to this beautiful creature, this magnificent tree. Um, but let's see what I can do with them today. So wide angle, uh, ISO 100, I've, I've gone for F11 to get as much of the tree in focus top to bottom as possible because I'm that close. And uh, let's say, see if we can frame it with these beautiful golden medallions that are still hanging on uh, and see what I can do in post-processing. I hope you like it. So that's a sunny afternoon in uh, in Savanake Forest. Not the best, not ideal woodland conditions, but not half bad. It's a wonderful place for a walk, and that's what we always do. Go out for a walk, maybe take some shots. If we get them, we get them. If we don't, we don't. But what I have found today is several locations that I'm definitely coming back to when conditions are more classically suited to woodland. You know, morning, fog, mist, rain, all of that sort of stuff. But hopefully today I've been able to do something with the conditions Get a little bit more artistic with the with the photographs in post processing. See what I can do when I get back to the studio. Let me know what you think. If you like them, if you don't like them, what would you have done in the same place? Let me know. In the meantime, enjoy lockdown as best you can. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you next time.